Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm a sewing specialist here at Fonz and Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together the blocks for the quilt called Nostalgia. If you'd like to purchase this pattern, you can visit our website and you can order it there. We are going to be using two and a half inch pre-cut strips of fabrics that make us think of the 40s and 50s. And it runs the whole gamut from the blues, the reds, the oranges, and the yellows. And then we're going to pair it with a fun um, cream and, and tan dot, so that gives kind of a little bit of texture to the background, but not distracting. So we're going to be working through our two and a half inch pre-cut strips. And from each of those, you're going to be cutting four pieces that are six and a half inch long and four pieces that are two and a half inches long. So you're going to have just a little bit of waste, not very much. So four of the six and a half and four of the two and a half. And then from your background fabric, you're also going to be needing six of the light, uh, uh, light squares and um, one rectangle. Um, follow your pattern for the number of those because there's quite a few throughout, the, throughout this quilt. Then you're going to be taking those um, prints that you cut. Now you cut six and a half and two and a halfs. When you're going through those cutting, put those together because you're going to be using them within one block. So as you go down through them, keep them together by color. All of, um, say a, a red and white dot, keep those together and the blue and um, floral together so that you can use them then to create a block and you don't have to search for its match. So you're going to be using the very center where is where we're going to begin. We're going to use four, those four print squares two light squares and a light rectangle. You're going to join these into a row and then you're going to join this section together. So you've created this center, kind of a plus shape in the center of our block. Once you've got that, you're going to be using those four six and a half inch rectangles that you cut that match. You're going to put one on each side and then you're going to join the, the remaining um, you have four remaining light squares, so that's going to be your top row here and the bottom row here. So I'll see how those pieces all fit together to make a block. Now once you have your block constructed, you'll have pieces that look like this. It's fun to go through all the different prints that have all the just fun um, kind of springy looking colors in them. Makes us um, think of the past, a little nostalgic. So we've got blocks like this. And then you're going to be adding sashing blocks to create your rows. So you're going to join them like this into rows and then join the rows with long bars in between. When you're all done, you've got one piece that goes all the way around the, around the outside so that the block, the nostalgia blocks actually float in the quilt and finish it with a fun red or pink binding. If you'd like to see more of our Quilting Quickly tutorials, please visit our website. Thanks for joining me today.